Hello everybody and thank you for tuning into 1111 Synchronicity Tarot. I am back with another reading, so let's just hop straight into it, okay? Angel Spirit Guides, Ancestors, Amana, the Highest White Light, give me some messages here for my YouTube collective, please and thank you. All right, somebody here, you all could be in separation here, all right, from your person or your person. I feel you and your person could definitely be in separation, all right, and your person right here, I feel like went through a heartbreak or some type of loss. Some, some, a karmic person, even if this wasn't romantic, y'all, because the karmic does not have to always be romantic like it could be a family member friend a co-worker it could even be the stranger okay that he don't even really know like that okay literally okay but your person just experienced a backstabbing situation here okay where he experienced a whole lot of deception and lies and then you got shocking attack here heartbreaking pain and he experienced this with a karmic person here okay it was a it's a whole lot of turmoil and stuff like that surrounding your person right now here okay and i do feel like your person was the runner at one point okay maybe this connection was you know too intense but we're gonna get deep into it and see you know what's going on here yeah some type of truth your person is single you got the nine of pentacles and justice your person is single right now okay it is showing that all right, after uh, uh, some deception and lies and some type, type of shocking attack or something like that, okay? And I do feel like your person is just working, focused on his goals and, and ambitions and things like that. So let's just see, what was this deception that this masculine experienced or experiencing now? Because it could be past, present, or future, but we're just going to see. It was a whole, definitely a whole lot of chaos, y'all, okay? What is this? What is this deception? It was from, it was, it was the deception. Somebody was trying to cloud your person judgment here. Somebody didn't want your person to see something clearly. I feel like it was a whole lot of lies um, and, and, Different people around your person, karmic people, that was definitely taking risk. Okay? Like, I feel like into things that they really weren't supposed to be in here. Okay? Definitely. And if your per if your if you know that your person had his options open, it's definitely somebody here that he was dealing with. Okay? And if not, this is somebody here that your person uh that was in your person's family or friends or something like that. Okay? That that was very deceptive and lied and it was it was a whole lot it's kind of giving me the ten of swords like a whole lot of uh deception okay and heavy betrayal all right and i feel like your person definitely is healing from it and he definitely could have had to call on god all right dealing with whatever this is here and then you got the nine of swords so that's definitely your person experiencing some type of guilt and deep regret okay over this situation here okay uh, yeah i do see that your person is wanting to heal something with you and correct something balance the situation out with you here and he and, and he do want to come to you before it's a missed opportunity but uh your person have to heal first from whatever this deception is right now collective i feel like you're just in this queen of pentacles energy okay you're working on your money I just feel like a lot of your time is into your work. A lot of your time is into your business if you have one. Just working your creative endeavors and or your or your family time or whatever if you have children or something like that here. 
okay i do feel like now that your person has experienced some type of deception and lies and whatever he's in this king of swords okay he's in this king of swords right here so your person definitely i feel like has boundaries with certain people because they were definitely karmic they betrayed your person all right and and right now you just focused on your work manifesting things into your life here okay yeah and and i feel like your person had to leave your person left people out in the cold it could definitely could have been like i said family and friends here but because of these people i feel like it was the reason why he was this page of cups with you why he was constantly running because the page of cups is somebody to enter your life without the long terms effect but they're very passionate this is somebody that's very passionate okay and can sometimes can be moody emotions all over the place not knowing what he really want it's like one minute he want something and then the next minute he don't he definitely renege on certain things he could say yeah i want a relationship and then the next two weeks he like no i don't think i want it after you done been fully in so this is the energy that your person was in okay i feel like he was in your life like a revolving door in and out uh very inconsistent but your person was definitely under some type of illusion here and it was definitely because of the karmic relationships he had. Like I said, this was either options that he had, okay, that had him like this, okay? Or like I said, for some of y'all, it was his family and his friends, y'all, okay? That was karmics here. And they, it's like they, they made him feel like the way that he was acting and going about doing things were okay. So he felt like it wasn't nothing wrong with him being in this Page of Cups energy. You know what I'm saying? But your person got tired of that. He got tired of the way that he was living. He got tired of the way that he was doing things. And I honestly feel like he got tired of the way that he was mishandling you. Okay, yeah, your person, eight of cups and the devil, your person walked away, okay, from these devilish, demonic people. Very unhealthy. You know what I'm saying? Very, very unhealthy. Your person had to cut ties with these people, break the chains that was holding him down okay these people i'm telling you had this person chained to them i'm telling you to karmic things okay and with this four of cups your person definitely has became dissatisfied with the things that he were into and the people that he was hanging around he has rejected these people he no longer wants to deal with these people come on now eight of cups the devil and the four of cups oh baby he let these folks go because he has became enlightened the hangman he has became enlightened okay i do feel like at one point he was confused you know what i'm saying because maybe he didn't want to let these karmic people go especially if they were family and friends but he know he had to okay and now these people are feeling defeated after they work extremely hard with the seven of pentacles to stop something okay but your person, when your, they was trying to stop this man from going through a spiritual transformation, a rebirth, okay? You got the five of swords and seven of pentacles. Oh, baby, they tried their hardest, okay? I'm telling you to destroy this uh, connection here. Yep, that's exactly. That's exactly what they was trying to do. These people could get some type of public shame or dishonor for whatever it is they did behind the scenes to try to stop this man from coming towards you y'all because with these people y'all it was a really big deal like for some reason they did not want you and this man to be together okay but your person is going through a rebirth here see they wanted your person to they wanted it to be a five of cups situation like they wanted it to be a whole lot of setbacks. They wanted to delay it. They really wanted to stop the connection. They wanted to stop this man from coming towards you. They wanted to stop it, right? They did not want this man to deal with you in no shape, form, or fashion. Even if it, even if they projected things onto him and they wanted this man to just look at you as a lustful situation, they really didn't even want that because that was him still communicating with you, right? They didn't want this man to deal with you, period. But they really didn't want him to give you no uh, commitment. They really didn't want that. You know what I'm saying? 
So they could have been projecting lust onto your person to have him in a certain energy, y'all, okay? Definitely, your person could have been under illusion in some type of spell work here, okay, with the Seven of Cups. Because there's definitely somebody not seeing things clearly, clouded judgment, okay? And that's the energy that your person was in. But I do feel like your person, you know, is protected. So it's like whatever it is that they were sending out to them really wasn't hitting them like they really wanted it to because at the end of the day your person was unaware of what was going on you know what i'm saying but god stepped in with this hierophant god stepped in and definitely was covering and shielding your person but your person wasn't seeing these people that he was around for who they truly were and god had to open your person eyes up so they can see because he could have had people around him doing spell work on him okay and and especially if his family and friends, they can easily go to his house or, or go around him and get something of his and do spell work on it, right? Do things to his food, his drinks, different herbs and different things like that and where he don't know. You know what I'm saying? People that have access to him like that, you know, or whatever. But yeah, even pictures. You have to even be careful posting things on social media because these people are evil y'all and you just don't know the certain extent people will go to go through to not see somebody together especially two spiritually gifted people two um uh, a, a twin flame come on now a lot of times twin flames go through a lot of spiritual warfare because people don't be wanting to see them come together okay that y'all i know what i be talking about look five of wands people were i'm telling you it said they resorted to underhanded methods to get something done. That's what they did. When you know what underhanded means, so you can just imagine what all the if they if these people coming up as the devil, just imagine everything that they did to get something to go their way for you all not to come together. It says they resorted to underhanded methods to get something pushed through. They were in competition with you. Okay, these are people here that's full of greed and lust for power. These are power hungry people. They want everything to go their way when they want it. And they willing to do anything to, to do it. Okay, they were definitely in secret competition and they wanted to challenge you. So if you're spiritually gifted and you're very protected or you're high ranked in the spiritual realm and these people knew it, these are people here that wanted to challenge your authority. Well, let me just see. Let me just see how high ranked she is or let me just see how powerful she is or protected she is these are those type of people so they were in secret competition with you and y'all didn't even know it <coughs> some of y'all might have did but yeah <coughs> but your person i feel like definitely had to go through this rebirth your person had to see things clearly Okay. Yeah, see, <clears throat> you got closed in trap. It's kind of giving me the eight of um, wands here. Okay, I definitely feel like these people was trying to control your person. All right, they was trying to keep your person trapped. Okay, and stuck. You got closed in, trapped, and frustrated. Because, yeah, whoever this drummer queen is, they wanted your person full of anxiety in his head. But whoever this is could have a whole lot of anxiety and be panicking now. 
Y'all, it's something dealing with a phone. I don't know if something was found in this karmic person's phone, but this person is scared and panicking because of a phone. Okay, something with a phone. And something with, y'all, <clears throat> I don't know what them things is that you put on your head. And it's like you can look inside it. Is it the virtual thing? where you you can put it on your head and it's like you can like move around and stuff like that and it's like whatever you do with your arms and legs you it's like it's it does something in like the video y'all it's something that this karmic person did okay i'm telling you because remember i said this person did something underhandedly to try to get something pushed through to go in their favor it's something with a phone and it's something with that thing that you put over your head and your eyes or something like that, y'all. It's, it's like a virtual game. Y'all, come in and let me know what the thing called. Okay? But I feel like it's something that can literally track your pulse, your heart rate, your movements, the things that you do. It's something, I don't know who gave this person access to something like this or if this person just had money to get it. But this person is scared and panicked because of a phone and something that they had to do illegally to you. And this was somebody that was thirsty to do something to you. Yeah, look, poison. It says this person is poisonous, toxic, and unhealthy behaviors and the people that she was around. 